Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about logarithmic equations. There's really not too much setup here that's needed, so we can just jump right in. We're going to solve ln of x minus ln of 5 is equal to 4 for x. So the first thing we'll do is we'll simplify the left hand side using the quotient rule to get ln of x over 5 equals 4. Now we want to get rid of the natural logs, so we'll lift both sides by the number e. In other words, e to the ln of x divided by 5 is equal e to the fourth. Remember, natural log is the log function with base e, so the cancellation property occurs, giving us x over 5 is equal e to the fourth, which simplifies down to x equaling to 5 times e to the fourth, and we're done. In our next example, we'll solve log base 3 of x plus log base 3 of x minus 8 is equal to 2. We'll use the product rule to simplify the left-hand side to log base 3 of x times x minus 8 is equal to 2. We'll simplify the inside to get log base 3 of x squared minus 8x is equal to 2. And now we'll lift both sides by 3 because we're dealing with log base 3. This gives us 3 to the log base 3 of x squared minus 8 is equal to 3 squared. And you simplify this whole equation to get the quadratic x squared minus 8x minus 9 is equal to 0. This is because of the cancellation that occurs with 3 raised to log base 3 of x squared minus 8. That simply just leaves you with x squared minus 8. And then I bring the 9 that comes from 3 squared over to the left hand side to get x squared minus 8x minus 9 equals 0. As you factor and solve, you get a solution set of x equals to 9 and x equals to negative 1. However, we're not done yet because recall that logarithmic functions cannot intake negative numbers. Since x equals to negative 1 is a possible solution, we have to realize that the domain of our log functions don't allow negative numbers. So we actually rule this solution out and we're left simply with x equals to 9. Now for our last example, we'll solve an equation that has logs of different bases. Log base 2 of x plus 4 times log base 5 of x equals to 1. So what we're going to do is take log base 2 of x and convert it into a log base 5 number. And we do this using our change of base formula. We know that log base 2 of x is equal to log base 5 of x divided by log base 5 of 2. Pulling this substitution into our equation, we get that log base 5 of x divided by log base 5 of 2 plus 4 times log base 5 of x is equal to 1. Now to solve, the first thing we'll do is factor out log base 5 of x, leaving behind 1 over log base 5 of 2 plus 4 is equal to 1. Now I'll simplify the inside, making it all one big fraction, to get log base 5 of x times 1 plus 4 times log base 5 of 2 divided by log base 5 of 2 all equals to 1. Next, I'll multiply both sides by log base 5 of 2 to get log base 5 of x times 1 plus 4 times log base 5 of 2 is equal to log base 5 of 2. In my next step, I will divide both sides by the quantity 1 plus 4 times log base 5 of 2 to get that log base 5 of x is equal to log base 5 of 2 divided by the quantity 1 plus 4 times log base 5 of 2. Since I'm dealing with log base 5, I would then lift both sides by the number 5 and the cancellation that occurs afterwards on the left hand side would leave me with x is equal to 5 raised to the power of log base 5 of 2 divided by 1 plus 4 times log base 5 of 2 and we're done. Now one could plug these numbers into a calculator to get an exact answer but sometimes you don't have to. It's okay to leave answers like this in certain contexts because even though this looks kind of gross you don't have to put things into the calculator and your answer still has meaning. 